Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and install DWM properly. So this video is a response to a lot of tutorials I see that encourage um, bad practices. Namely, um, a lot of tutorials I see recommend you to install DWM by git cloning or like extracting the archive and running sudo make install or like make install as root. And now that works, but it's not good practice because if you install, say, DWM through your package manager like apt apt pacman or anything like that, and then you install through sudo make install or make install or whatever you use, that's going to overwrite the files that your package manager makes. And more importantly, on your end, if DWM or whatever you're building from source gets updated in the repos, it's going to overwrite your DWM executable. So you're going to have to run in there or run to your source directory and run make install again. And this tutorial will show you how to set it up properly so that one, that doesn't happen, and two, it doesn't conflict with um, your package manager. It's, ju it's just generally a better practice to do what I'm going to show you. So, you, I have DWM already downloaded here, and before you install DWM, I want you to install the dependencies. So again, we're on Debian here, so the packages I need are Build Essential, X11 Dev, XFT Dev, and Zenorama Dev. You can install Git if you want to install it through Git. I didn't do that, I used wget. But then after that, since I'm on a minimal install, or once that's done finished downloading, I'm on a minimal install. So I installed Xnit and Xorg. Now Debian does a sensible thing, and Xnit's a dependency, or yeah, Xnit depends on Xorg. But some distros don't do that. So I installed Xnit and Xorg just to be safe. And then I installed DWM, Suckless Tools, and STTerm through the package manager as well. As by default on Debian, the DWM package has dependencies on these two. I think it depends on ST term, or no, it depends on Suckless tools, but I don't think it depends on ST term. But the vanilla DWM from the website does depend on simple terminal, ST term. So you're going to want to install that too. I also installed Vim because I kept. I kept typing in Vim instead of Nano, and eventually I just decided to just install Vim. So after we have all those set up through a package manager, you want to download DWM through or off their website. So what I did here is you can either do through Git, or again, like I said, I used wget. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Yeah, so I, I use wget to download it off their website, right? So just enter that command there, and once it finishes downloading, you can use tar xfv. Do I have a DWM archive here, or folder here? No, okay. So you want to extract it with dash xvf, then the name, name of the archive. It only takes a second to do. I'm going to change directory into it, and just to make sure I have everything, all the dependencies set up right, we're going to type in make. Right? So now you have a DWM uh, executable here. Now this is the part where I will defer, or differ from most, uh, most tutorials. A lot of them are telling you at this point to type in something like sudo make install, or su, and make install. Don't do that. that that's a bad idea. And I'm really hammering this point home because I made this tutorial as a response to a bunch of people making tutorials that tell you to do that. It's not good practice. Don't do it. Debian even says on a page called Don't Break Debian, don't do this. All right? So what we're going to do instead is I'm going to show you real quick the, prof the dot profile. All right? So... What this does is basically when you log in, it runs it runs some uh, some magic in the background, runs a script in the background, right? 
And th what this does, it checks we have a bin folder in our home directory. And if there is, it adds it to our path. And that means that if, um, say, if I, if, I, if I want to install a program that's not in the package manager in the repos, or at least not up to date, I can install it here in my home folder and it won't conflict with anything in my package manager. Now, by default, this is what Debian has, right? But you don't need to be running Debian to do this. You can copy down this line here and these next few steps will work perfectly for you um, regardless. You can also do it in local bin, but for the sake of brevity in this video, I'm going to do, I'm going to make a bin folder in my home directory, all right? So we're going to make directory bin, and now we have a bin folder. And inside the bin, we're going to change directory to bin folder, right? Then we're going to link, symbolically, home, virtual, wherever I have DWM installed or extracted to, right? DWM. We're going to put it in our bin folder under the name DWM. All right. Now you'll notice if I run DWM v now, it now says DWM 6.2 instead of 6.1 from the repos. Right. If this doesn't work for you, just log out and log back in again, because I had to do that when I first did this video, and after that everything's working fine. So you also want to set up Xnet RC if you do not have a display manager, like LightDM or something like that. If you're running a minimal install, you probably don't have one. But if you install a, a display manager, like a LightDM or something like that, I'm going to assume you know what you're doing. But for the sake of everyone who's not running that, I'm going to show you how to set it up uh, without it. So we make a file called .dot .xnet RC, right? And inside it, all we say is execute or exec DWM. So now when I type start X, I have the latest version of DWM installed on my machine and it doesn't conflict with the version that Debian has in its repositories. It's because now I have um, two version of DWM and if I were to log out here completely log in as root start X root also has its own version of DWM because it's falling back to the ones in the uh, system wide directory rather than the one I have in my home folder just close that real quick Let me just muscle memory my actual name there. And so that's how you install DWM properly. Basically, you install the dependencies, download DWM, go to directory, type make, go to your home folder, make a bin folder, symbolically link the DWM that you just downloaded and built to your bin folder and make an exit RC file. That last part's not really necessary if you already have DWM set up for exit RC, but I'm assuming you're coming from a minimal install with absolutely nothing installed. And if you've already done, done that already, I'll assume you know better than to, I don't know, make another exit RC and do the same thing. So that's my video. I hope you appreciate the tutorial. And uh, subscribe for my next video in about eight months.